Okay, so here's a nice little leg routine I've developed, which is going to focus a lot of your balance work, getting the glutes to work and mobilizing once again, but we're going to do a lot of it in the standing position. But before we do that, we're going to go through a handful of mobility exercises around the hips again to get those loose so we can try and switch them on nicely and get you firing well. Okay, so the first movement pattern we're going to be doing is a nice bit of a hip rotation from side to side, which also targets a little bit of the pecs. So lying down nice and flat, arms out nice and relaxed, and this is actually quite an enjoyable position to be in. And from there, we're going to gently look to the right as we drop our legs to the left and slowly swap it over, turn the head as you rotate. You should feel a nice stretch through your pecs, through your lower back and maybe even into your glutes. You're going to go for 10 of these, 4, 5, just enjoy that, remember to breathe, 6, maybe you don't want to ever be holding your breath, 7, when you're trying to mobilize, 8, nice relaxed breathing, 9, and 10. Okay, so from that movement, we're going to move into the second one, where we're going to get a little bit of dynamic movements happening again here. So from this position here, what we're going to do, we're going to step, and we're going to gently press the back knee down onto the floor, and you should feel a nice stretch coming through that adductor and, and hamstring, and obviously the hip on the back leg. Okay, take it back, step again, gently press it down, and once again, getting that nice stretch coming in through there, so that hamstring, adductors, and the hip on that side. And swap. Three. We're going to push for ten again. Going five each side. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay. Third exercise in the set. We're going to go into a little dynamic stretching out of the glutes and hamstrings now and hopefully maybe just even fire up our abs a little bit. Okay, so once again, uh, we're going to go for 10 of each again. So it's five on each leg. And we're going to start off with a nice hamstring stretch. Slight bend in the knee, the other leg's in the air. Stretch it out so I feel a nice tension through that hammy. Remember, stretching to a level of discomfort, not pain. So stretch it out and swap. Two. And swap. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From there, we're going to take your leg across, bend the 90 degree glute stretch, take it across your body for one, two, also ten of these, three, keeping the abs working, four, five, Six, oh it feels good to stretch them out. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so now we've opened up the hips, we've stretched out everything there. Same thing again, we've got one full set of three exercises, have a little breather and run through that two to three times. And that should get your hips nice and loose and also get a nice bit of body temperature and prepping your body for action for our next six exercises. Okay, now for your proper set. Now that I've got you standing, we're going to focus on a bit of balance work. We're going to try to get the, the glutes working, get the hips firing, and obviously, most importantly, testing your balance out the whole time. Okay, so the very first exercise we're going to be doing is a static hold. We're going to focus on posture. We're going to stand up tall. We're going to reach across our body. So left hand onto right knee. Great posture. Strong, powerful stance. And we're going to hold for 30 seconds. Okay, I'm working on to get that hip flexor firing. My standing leg, whoop, my standing leg is firing up nicely in the glutes and I'm working hard on beautiful posture non-stop. Okay, keep working hard. I've lost my balance a little bit. I'm bringing it back. There we go. Keep working hard. Keep holding that for 10, 9, 8, 7. You make it harder for yourself by pushing down aggressively there. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, other leg. Okay, so I've really got a little bit of fatigue in that hip there. Nice and tall, power up. We're gonna get your balance again. And hold it for 30 seconds. Then we're pressing down hard across onto the opposite knee. Getting those obliques to work nicely. Keep working hard. That hip is firing up nicely again. Oh, I've lost my balance. Back into it again. Keep holding. Clearly I need to do some work on this myself. And I'm working hard, pressing hard, pressing hard. 
Keep holding. Think about your long spine. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Whoa. Okay, straighten those hips. That's exercise one. Exercise two, we're going to go is a one legged squat and side leg lift. Okay, so I'm loading my one leg there. The leg that I'm loading is going to have a bend in it and we're going to straighten. So this is doing a one legged squat. The leg that's in the air is going to be completely straight. Okay, so we're going to push for 15 to 20 reps here. Ready? And here we go for one, two. We try not to touch the floor. Three. If you have to, it makes sense. Four, five, six. This will really get into those glutes. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go five more. One, two. And for that weight bearing glute, three, kicking in. Four and five. Yo, right into that glute media. So, okay, swapping over. Other leg. Okay, let's see how good the balance is again. Ready? 15 of the best. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and five, four. Three, two, and one. Yo, okay, beautifully into the glutes. And final exercise in this set, I need some sort of step. I'm lucky enough that I do have a step, but any step you have, it's basically just something to bend over to touch before you come up again. Okay, so the one-legged deadlift, here we go. Nice and tall, nice and upright, nice strong bow, come up tall, one. Okay, so now for the one-legged deadlift, we're gonna stand up nice and tall, a strong bow over to tap your step lightly, get your balance at the bottom, and power up for one and down, two and down, three and down, four and down, five and down, six and down, seven, losing the balance a bit, eight. As soon as you lose your focus, nine, the balance goes. And ten. Not too bad, but definitely needs to work on my right leg. Let's test out the left leg. Ten again. Here we go. Get balanced. Stabilize. And down. For one. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five. Down. Six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, and ten. So those are your one-legged deadlifts. Alrighty, your third and final set here. We're going to be focusing on three exercises again. A lot of balance. We're going to start off with a backwards lunge, followed by a four-point squat, and then finish it with a lateral lunge. So your backwards lunge, once again, so you're going to load the front leg, loading through that heel. You're going to step back and stand up tall. Step back, stand up tall. We've got 10 of these for down and up for three. Down, up for four. Down, up for five. Down, up for six. Down, up for seven. Down, up for eight. Down, up for nine. Down. Up for 10. Okay, swapping over. Other leg. Same nice intensity. Keep the posture. Take it down. Up for one. Down. Up for two. Down. Up for three. Down. Up for four. Down. Up for five. Focusing, pushing through that heel. Up for six. Down. Up for seven. Down. Up for eight. Down. Up for nine. Down. And up for 10. Those are your backwards lunges, making sure the weight is through that front foot in that heel. Second exercise in the set is called a four point squat because we're going to take our foot to 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. We're going to do this five times per leg. Okay, so starting off with your 12 o'clock position, and obviously this leg that I'm standing on has got a nice one legged squat, so it's bending. So 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and nine o'clock and again 12 o'clock three 
six and nine, 12, three, six and nine, and 12, three, six and nine. One more time, 12, three, six, nine o'clock. And that's nasty in that glute and obviously getting my quad to burn. Okay, onto the other leg. Here we go. And 12, nine, six, and three. 12, nine, six, whoop, and three. 12, nine, six, and three. And again, 12, nine, six, and three. One more round. 12, nine, six, and three. Yo, okay, nice in that glute. And the final exercise in your third round is a nice lateral lunge. Feet nice and wide, 45 degrees, depending on how flexible your adductors are. Depends on how wide your legs go. Okay, so we're gonna get a nice reach down across, feel that nice stretch coming through this adductor, and switch. Two, three, we're gonna go for 20 of these. Four, 10 each way. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And those are your three exercises in superset three. Nine exercises in total. And remember, for each superset, you decide how many times you'd like to run through the exercises. And for at least two, if you're good enough, go for three. And if you're motivated enough, go for four. Enjoy and feel those glutes and legs firing up nicely.